Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are looking at energy and oil prices remain bullish. The trend continues higher, basically the highest almost of the year. Uh, those at 75.27 high remains intact on the front month crude. However, we are nearing it as close as we've been uh, since then. And if you got to go back to 2014, last time we saw a sustained trade north of $75, and that was going the other way. We were coming down from about 107 uh, like a speed train. So different dynamics here, but the, the oil market definitely creeping back up is going to test that year to date high before too long. Uh, I think in order to see a reversal of this momentum, you need to see a, a trade and settle below $70, which doesn't seem all that far, but uh, I think that right now the, the market remains very bullish. And if you look at the dollar, not really participating in the uh, commodities trade as much today as it has uh, over the last several weeks. Uh, the dollar kind of consolidating near its recent lows. Obviously, we've got an FOMC meeting tomorrow, an announcement which could change all that. I think the dollar's in kind of a wait and see mode, uh, coiling for that spring that could come if the Fed decides to, to be a little more hawkish or perhaps not as hawkish as the market is expecting. We are expecting a 25 basis point rate hike uh, tomorrow with a press conference and forward guidance. That will give the dollar something to think about and certainly will make it move, uh, affecting oil prices. And lastly, OPEC over the weekend, they met. They did not really give us a clear answer as to the, the expectations that have been built into the market as to how to fill the Iran gap. Recall recently that President Trump has suggested that oil prices maybe are a bit too high and he would like to see them lower. That would suggest increased production, maybe to not only fill the Iran gap, but maybe to also uh, knock prices down a, a little bit, making them more economically friendly. Well, I think that the, the, the members of OPEC have kind of waited here. The, the decision to whether to increase production or, or how they're going to deal with the Iran sanctions remains unclear. But if you look at uh, what's happening between the U.S. and China, uh, some issues going on in Europe, and, and I think really the emerging market world, uh, growth could be on the turn here. And if growth slows down, then you're not going to want to increase uh, the production and increase supply in the face of possibly declining demand. So we haven't gotten there yet, but I do think that's, got, that's on everyone's mind, on everyone's radar. And one of the reasons why I think they haven't really put the pedal to the metal uh, to increase production. So right now, oil prices remain bullish. Uh, the dollar not really feeding into it, but that could change tomorrow. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.